morning, Bache. And to you too, Mr. Fields Day. What <laughs> lovely weather we're having. If indeed it is. Anything interesting? Uh, nothing much. Old maid table tennis is having her fifth baby. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at this? I cannot believe my eyes. Need I money now? Thousand dollar idea. idea! Do you have an idea that will captivate the nation? Something that will change the world as we know it? Something that will bring the family together. Back together. <laughs> Do you want something that will bring the twinkle back in your wife's eye? The twinkle that you haven't seen since her wedding day? Do you have something that will make your father look at you and say, I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> if so, come on down to William and Short's Invention Center on this Sunday for $1,000! $1, $1, to go home and do absolutely nothing about this information. That's right, I'm going to go home to my lovely wife. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. Fare thee well, neighbor. Goodbye, neighbor. <laughs> Gee whiz, I really wish I had that thousand dollar idea. Oi, oi, papa, it's me, your youngest son, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you this happen since the accident. Shut it, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, papa, it's just that seeing you smile makes me so happy, and I haven't felt your hug in so long. I... Oh, I understand, boy, but you gotta understand. I have this a thousand dollar idea, but I've got nothing. Maybe I can talk, Papa. Mama always said that I was quite the creative child. Ah, uh, that you may be, boy. But I don't want to talk about your dreams and ambitions. I want to talk about my problems and needs. <laughs> yeah? What do you want me to do, Papa? Well, the only thing I can really do is... spoon and egg and, uh, I don't know, go play with it, I don't know. <laughs> Victoria, Papa's got that crazy look in his eye that means it's time for playtime. <laughs> <laughs> what is Bache's daughter doing here? Wait a minute, is he trying to get rid of her so he can come up with a thousand dollar idea? Huh, nah, he wouldn't do that. I know him better than that. Um, so what are we supposed to do with this? Okay, so we're both cowboys, and we are dueling to see who is the best sheriff in town. And your spoon is a silver pistol, and your egg is also a bullet. And my spoon is a golden pistol, and my egg is also a bullet, and it's also a last to give me fire powers. <sighs> ha! Okay, hear me out. What if my spoon was a fire sword that cut your eyes out? So you can never lasso me. My lasso is too powerful and also it is raining on it. No, I wasn't ready, but I have infinite lives anyway, so it doesn't matter. Eureka! <laughs> Little Tommy. Now, go ten paces due north. Go! Do it for your papa.
Center on this fine Lord's Day. How about you? Oh, well, I'll, I'll be diddly, diddly, diddly dead. Carry me with togs. I am also at this institution to promote my thousand dollar idea here on this Lord's Day. Really? Yes. Oh, that's fine. I mean, well, what could you possibly have that could be better than my idea? Uh huh. Hmm? Uh huh. Care to share? Yeah. What's your plan that you're here with today? Oh, really? Well, <laughs> Even though you're such a, a, a bright, tight young man, <laughs> I have a thousand dollar idea that is, might I say, the best of the bunch. <laughs> well, I do love the enthusiasm and your, how do I say, so sexy. <laughs> but nothing is going to be my idea. So what do you have that to bring to the table besides your... <gasps> you dirty bastard. I told you not to bring up my... accident. <laughs> are you playing me, you scoundrel? What are you... Are, are you a fool? How dare you bring up something so trivial like my... accident. <laughs> Well, it's a thousand dollar idea, and a man's gonna do what a man's gotta do. What a man's gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why, I oughta, why would you stoop to such a low blow? <laughs> Especially with me. Why, I oughta, how dare you think that you can take this chance away from me for fortune? Oh, why, I oughta! Emily, your time has come. <laughs> talking about my groundbreaking idea, which will change the way that you think of balls. <laughs> no, 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 I think you're talking about, about my, my, my thousand dollar idea. Something that will captivate the youth, that will, that will captivate the little rascals and drive them wild. Well, my idea is for all ages. It's, it's just four simple things. Hard, red, Two of them? Balls. Oh, no, 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 no. Mine is about the game. It's about competition. It's about, it's about captivating the minds. It's about those, those, those tire marked hands. Uh, it's about the egg and the spoon. It's about those water soaked pants after water balloon pops. Oh, I bet your pants were wet because of water and not because of anything else. You shut your whore mouth! <laughs> Mine is about captivating the youth. It's about, my, my mind's layered. Mine has many possibilities, many games that will prove that every child can be a winner. Well, mine is pretty simplistic. It's got one thing, balls. Let's get to it. Yes. Saucy Ball will be sweeping the nation with its simplicity. Listen, 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 buddy. Sweetheart. <laughs> Mine is about creating anything out of nothing. That's what captivates. <laughs> Thanks for the music. Mine is about creating anything out of nothing. It's a creativity of the mind. For example, with this rope that I just conveniently have in my back pocket, I can create this simple piece of rope into something, bitch! What do you think that you could do with this? Bro, screw you, screw you, and your big, juicy, red balls. Yeah. <laughs> 